Hey guys, so I am back finally with my weekly vlogs. I missed you guys so much and I was just not in the mood to vlog for a couple of months and then my camera broke but now I got a new camera and I'm ready to bring you guys back into my life and we're gonna go get into our weekly regular vlog. Sorry, I was just filming a history video so I had my mic on but yeah, we're gonna go to a shoot now and we're shooting for Farai and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and then after that we're gonna come home and chill and yeah i'll just talk to you guys more about my journey bye hey vlog so i'm gonna see if i can stand the camera up okay guys so i'm back from a long day at work i was shooting Farai's new campaign and I got back home like 10 minutes ago and then this boy drove to drag me to the gym can't even get no rest or peace after I've been working all day no rest, no rest. I'm not even wicked I'm just a girl so yeah we're gonna go to the gym I'm trying to start this new healthy diet lifestyles whatever I start and stop like every two months but I'm trying to get real skinny even though I do like my body I just think it could be better so we're gonna be doing what are we doing at the gym today Cardio. cardio so we're doing cardio uh, 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 uh. and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna go to sleep because that's what I wanted to do to start period but yeah there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now just got some crazy news today you know guys I know people say innocent until proven guilty but when it comes to certain things I don't play about that I don't play about it but yeah I'll catch you guys back up when I'm done working out. Morning guys, so it's the next day. I went to the gym yesterday against my will, but I am actually feeling a bit accomplished. Don't let, don't let my boyfriend hear this. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm really excited actually, because today I'm shooting with Matt Brand. I'm shooting their Halloween campaign, which is gonna be so fun, because me and Madison are doing it together and it's always fun to shoot with your best friend. And the makeup is going to be really good. We have a really good makeup artist. And we're like shooting like a fun car scene. So yeah, these are the days where like I enjoy my work. And yeah, so I'm going to start getting ready just in the shower and stuff. The only thing I am upset about is that I wanted to get my hair done before the shoot. But both of my hairstylists are busy. And it's kind of my fault because I booked them like last minute. Like I asked them for an appointment last minute. So I understand that they're like booked and busy obviously. But yeah. Also, I wanted to like speak about something with you guys because obviously I woke up, went on my phone and right now there's all these issues with the young Billy's sexual assault allegation and I just want to say something, yeah? Obviously, I'm not here to be like judge, jury and executioner, obviously, and the way that our law courts work and like the way that we sh kind of should give people the benefit of the doubt is that it's innocent, it's all proven guilty. However, I don't always go by that because the culture that we live in is so like deeply entrenched in like misogyny and violence against women and just a complete like disregard for women's stories that it's like when I see all of this rhetoric especially from the stupid idiots like HS Tiki Toki on oh well why was she even in his hotel room it's like it's these kind of conversations that justify sexual assault are you telling me that because a girl went back to a hotel room that then justifies that she should be assaulted brutally. Is that what you're saying? Like, what does that even mean? Because there's literally women who cover head to toe that get sexually assaulted. There's young girls and children who are sexually assaulted when they're wearing pajamas or whatever you would call modest. Like, what a girl is wearing or the situation that she's in is not what causes sexual assault. It's the man not being able to control himself and being violent. So whenever I see all of these stupid, like the Andrew Tates, the HS Tiki Tokis, I just think, who gave these people a platform? This is why not everybody deserves a platform because the kind of language that you use and the ideas that you repeat and then impressionable young boys hear this, that's gonna create even more of these situations in the next generation. And there'll be another young filly that's, it's just like, it's so irritating, like I hate, hearing it and then people wonder why women don't want to come forward with their stories and wonder why rape convictions are like convicted on like 10 percent basis it's because of people like this because this is the kind of ideas that you have in your head like if i go back to a guy's hotel room yeah and i i may even like him yeah 
and I'm sitting in his hotel room and we're getting to know each other, or maybe we're drinking, whatever we're doing, if I don't want to have sexual intercourse with him and I do not consent, then that is the end of the story. I don't, I don't then deserve to be sexually assaulted or raped simply because I went back to the hotel room. Like, what kind of fucking stupid logic is that? I don't even mean to swear, but this video really irritated me. Like, I actually cannot stand, like, I cannot stand this guy. I'm sorry. It's just so, it's so stupid. Like, and then people wonder why, like, rape culture is so prevalent. It's all of these jokes that guys make and, like, letting their boys have this weird behaviour and they don't, like, pull it up and repeating this stupid rhetoric to their even even women are guilty of it because a lot of women have internalized misogyny and they don't even realize it because again we've grown up in a patriarchal society i even see girls talk about other girls being like oh well she should have been wearing that oh well she's she's this she's that oh she's always outside like that doesn't mean that you deserve to be raped it just doesn't mean that bro it does not mean that Anyway, I'm just passionate about this, but it's so frustrating to see because imagine all the women that are like suffering in silence and will never come out because they don't want this kind of backlash. Bear in mind, people are saying that this girl wants fame. That's accused Philly, but it's like, she has not even, we don't even know her name. She's not come out with it. She did what people tell women to do, which is go to the police. Whenever these girls are coming out on Twitter talking about their report of abuse, all the comments say, go to the police. Why are you telling us? Tell the police, tell the police. That's exactly what she's done and she's still getting backlash. So it's like, how do women win? How do we get protected? How do we get considered? But yeah. Anyway, we'll obviously we'll like find the verdict out soon. The courts will make a decision on what that situation is. It's just crazy. Because I feel like so many people in the entertainment industry are like, just doing some crazy stuff. But yeah. Hey guys, so I'm ready. I've showered. Um, my straight in my hair. I also did my own brows today. Oh, it's a bit bright. But yeah, I'm gonna go and head to the shoot now. Tell me if I did my brows like too thin. I really like them thin actually, can't I? I'm in my mature era. I'm wearing this white top from Fashion Nova and my true religion pants. And today I'm gonna be taking my Today I'm gonna to be taking my saddlebag to the street. I don't really need to bring anything else. So yeah, I was watching a little history video about the witch trials in Scotland. Very interesting. But yeah, let's go. I have so many things on here. This was like a little basket I made for my boyfriend the other day. And then here's some packages. I need to ship or open. But yeah, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. I need to tidy my bathroom as well. Yeah. I'm so excited to be vlogging again, guys. I love you guys. I'm so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, I am getting my makeup done at the shoot and I have pink eyes right now. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm really excited to like go out of my comfort zone with this. Um, we're shooting lap, not lap brand, matte brand Halloween campaign. And we have our gorgeous makeup artists here. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get into it. I feel like you guys haven't seen me in like a very creative look in a long time. So this is gonna be really fun. And yeah, we're just getting into it. Sorry. Guys, look at my makeup. I love it, thank you so much. Now, you know, we're just oiling up the chest, oh, as you do. He's literally not letting us rest. <laughs> Flawless 
I wanted to show you guys Dior before we go out and shoot. He's such a cute boy. He looks like Mars. I think I'm coming at Dior from now. Okay. Well, maybe not Dior. <laughs> We have our second model here. Hey guys. You know, we just met. I hope we work well together because yeah. I'm not sure I'm about some learn. of these girls, how they act. I don't, like with new I don't either. So let's hope <laughs> that we can get along. <laughs> she bought her dog as well. Wait, why are they going in circles? They're just smelling each other's bombs in circles. It's so weird. <laughs> what does that mean as a dog? I think that's like how they greet each other, you know, like to get their scent. But like they're deep in each other's booties. <laughs> Let me read them. Her. Guys, come so she can do her work. Um, I love this glam so much. I've got my pink contact lenses in as well, and Madison's get her makeup done behind me. Guys, go look at her. How, <laughs> how gorgeous does she look? So this is crazy. My Make sure she is <laughs> Literally, and Madison's makeup is done as well. This is so slay. Kedar, do you want to be my mom? Hi, hi. 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 No, this e Thank you. I love her. <laughs> you might have to just put it slightly. Yeah, because You can do a little bit of stuff to like a little one. What my bad bitch is saying? I'm a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. She thinks that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. Hey vlog, so it's actually getting really cold recently, I don't know what's happening, it's like the temperature just dropped like 10 degrees, but I've got like a wintry outfit on, I'm going to a jazz bar, very demure and mature of me, and yeah, I think my outfit is really cute, cute, cute. this is my outfit. It's like one, sh there's a hole in it by the way, I'm just using my head to cover it. It's like a one shoulder dress. I'm gonna wear this black bag and boots. It's a lights a bit of shit. But yeah, I'll let you guys know how the dress club is. And I did a shoot yesterday that was so good. I think, obviously if you're watching the vlog, I'll insert footage before this of how the shoot went and like the video that came from it and the pictures and stuff but yeah it was really fun and i'm enjoying work these days so yeah off to the jazz bar i go <laughs> Never dependent, come good looking. Oh no, my virgin took him, book him, book him. May I get book him? Remember that song? Bad B, come to the Niz. Skin no go, she cute. Ta ta. So my boyfriend pissed because she know my shoes. Guys, if you don't know, I'm from. Actually, I won't tell you guys where I'm from. <laughs> you guys already know if you know me, know where I'm from. <laughs> 
And I'm saying it very like posh right now. This Harlem O freestyle or Westwood, Tim Westwood, was so good back in the day. Yeah, me and my friends in the show called. Mad move, let's go, baby. Shout out to Shout out to I don't want to show you about what's going to take this up. Me, go check your mash. Wait, go check your cash. She said that we set that trend. Now they all say mission mash. Barbie shy chat like man. Shit, then fuck them and splash. Touch button now. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you guys now. I'm getting a bit too excited, so. Guys, so we're gonna go to this random club in Briggs. <laughs> we're driving through to go home, and we just found this club in Briggs. And we're gonna go because it's not everyday tape. It's not everyday fucking tape, bro. Shut up. It's not everyday tape. I'm not gonna take my camera in there because I'm not trying to get robbed, girl. But I'm gonna tell you guys how it went.